Don Moody, handymanreality.com here. This is an, potentially an unrepairable situation without a huge amount of expense. This bathroom backs onto another bathroom. This, in my opinion, dumbass Eurostream faucet um, works uh, for diverting from the tub up to the shower. It needs to turn this. There is a little ring here that fit into the notches on that. Now the problem is, you see where this back plate sits? It's screwed in place. Someone installed it not flush. The back plate, this back plate should always be flush to the finished surface before this plate goes on with the foam ring. So because they did not do this, this ring here does not engage the diverter, which turns the water up or down. So the only solution I can come up with, being that this faucet is has another faucet on the opposite side of it, my options are uh, remove the tiles and redo the faucet with, say, maybe a Moen faucet, which could be solved. I could have actually maybe solved this better. But by the installer installing this too far back, the diverter will not engage unless you crank the screws as hard as possible which as you can see the heads of the screws are becoming very damaged themselves because of cranking it tight so our solution today and a previous plumber had tried to put on a delta style uh, tub spout of a different color <laughs> And it has a diverter on the end here. So when the water's running, you just pull this down, and that would stop the water at the faucet at the tub, and that would push the water back up. The problem is that the other diverter needs to work as well. So the other diverter stops it regardless. If it's, if it's turned up to the uh, shower head, then no water comes to here to get stopped. If it's turned down to here, and you pull this, no water goes up because this is turned to the tub. So we have a catch-22 here with this Eurostream <clears throat> piece of junk. And the connections to the piping and the valve are actually bigger than this hole. So I maybe could get to the, the pipe going up to the and I could use some shark bites or something like that. I maybe could get to the pipe going down or I could recreate it through the hole. I just I cannot come up with a solution. Oh yeah, I forgot about the other problem here. And I'll post a picture. Is that the water in this multi-tenant unit cannot 100% be shut off. So, yeah. They're faced with, I turn it up to the shower, and this is always a shower, and if you want to have a bath, you use the shower to fill the bath. So, this is, boy, this one's going to get a lot of comments. <laughs> this is uh, Don Moody of uh, handymanreality.com, uh, an ex third year plumber, and uh, yeah. That's my assessment of the situation. So thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.